What's up everybody? OCD Farming here today and welcome to the interior. Yeah buddy, this is a uh, for pre predominantly forestry map but with a little bit of uh, farming and uh, a couple rock quarries too so we'll check that out. But first, uh, this is by Gamer Designs and Poor Boy Modding. 176 megabytes to downloads for all platforms. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the interior, a small town hidden away in the mountains surrounded by endless hills of forest. It is a standard size map that is set up for all your forestry needs, but also includes some farming too. The features include 50 tracts of land that is viable, 4 different species of trees, 4 fields, a small town going down the center of the map, many custom textures and places for you to explore. We recommend the Platinum Expansion DLC for the maximum forestry experience. Uh, I would like to say thanks to all the modders that have made this map possible since Farming Sim 17. It has been a massive project touched by many. So yeah, that is that. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, probably one of my favorite forestry maps. And I, uh, when I seen the name of it, I was a little... I kind of underestimated it, but it's a very nice map. Uh, so yeah, this is the PDA. Uh, we have four fields all right here. Uh, the town is right down the center of the map. So nice road, traffic, and all that. So yeah. Um, there are a couple of rock quarries. Uh, two, I, uh, two of them I know are... one are here one of them is here and the other one is up here uh, I'll show them off as we go along but yeah um, there probably is another one somewhere hidden somewhere I'm sure at least uh, but yeah that those are the ones I know of uh, so yeah we'll get right to it uh, we do own the whole right side of the map basically and it's like the whole town and both quarries and yeah, <laughs> a lot of stuff, a lot of forestry and all the fields and yeah. Uh, we do also have all the animals. I did incorporate them into the map. It was kind of hard to uh, place them. I had to get rid of some trees just to place uh, the cow pen, uh, but we, we managed. Uh, so yeah, we'll start off. We are down here uh, by the bridge. And it's a really nice bridge. Very long, dope bridge. And pedestrians walk on it too. Uh, as you've seen in my intro. Uh, so yeah, and there's a cop car right there. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that. So we'll start off down here at the end and we'll basically work our way out. What are you doing, you freaking deer? Uh, so yeah, we do have a shed right by the end of the road here. And there's deer inside of it. And in here we have, uh, this is mainly just our, uh, our lawn care stuff. So we got the mow it, we got the John Deere 330 mower, uh, we got the sheriff truck, so we can haul the trailers, the lawn care trailers. Uh, and then we also got our, uh, trucks here, our X2 Volvos, the dumper, and the tanker, right there. So yeah, that is... That. And really nice shed. Uh, this actually came out like Friday or Thursday or something like that. Uh, this map actually came out Thursday or Friday too. So yeah, very, very nice map and a very nice shed. And you can change up the colors too to whatever you like. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I just kind of want to go down the road here because it's pretty, pretty uh, detailed. We got some trucks here alongside where the gas station is. We got some like a service truck. We got like a parked car over there. The Gary Sun. If you're dyslexic, you read Grayson like I do, which is my name. <laughs> uh, we got a nice bent, broken down, wheelless, freaking log trailer there, and another trailer. Ah, oh, I totally forgot to get something too. This is a freaking biker freaking bar, looks like, and I didn't get a motorcycle, so I need to buy that. 
So let us just buy the more. Oh, I didn't even freaking add it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get that for episode one. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, but yeah, so well, we have a fuel storage right behind the gas station. Okay, all right. I'm not gonna complain about that. Take a fuel storage wherever I can get one. Uh, we got timber time right here, and I did add some fences along the back of it. And makeshift road uh, it is very bumpy and I could not do anything with it uh, we also tried to put a stone factory here but it was too sketchy for my liking so it got rid of it and we kind of just fixed it up a bit so yeah it did not look used to look like this before <laughs> yeah so timber times there uh, what is this here this is nothing and there's a car in the building. Um, I never, I, di I didn't notice that. <laughs> what? You can't just put a car behind the damn building, or in the building. All right, so that's that. Uh, this is the biomass heating plant, I think. Yeah. So that's that. Else across the street there. Got a laundromat. Maybe a fire station. Yeah, that's the fire department there. Oh yeah, we'll show you the first rock quarry. Uh, this is the smaller one. It's just right here. So yeah, nice little road leading up to it. Bumpy as hell, but yeah, a lot of rocks still too. A lot of rocks here. I'll show you. Construction mode. Come on, let's go. So yeah, decent amount of rocks, as you can see. Nice little canyon of rocks that we can use for lime and slabs and whatnot. So yeah, pretty dope. I like that. So that is that. Uh, woo. There's the fire station. Across the street from it we have a shed that I actually didn't in place and I actually tried to sell it and there was two of them so yeah you could sell both of them <laughs> and get money from them so that's pretty dope I mean a couple sheds like that actually <laughs> so if you sell something and it doesn't go away sell it again because it'll go away after that and then you still get the money for it but yeah, so I did not place this shed, and in here we got the Volvo wheel loader with the 10,000 liter bucket. Uh, we got the JCB AgroPro telehandler yeah, with a 3,000 liter bucket, and a rock stone picker. And it's just a small one, smallest, or the biggest base game one because pretty small fields. So yeah, and I like the lizard propane tank. It's really nice, I like that. As a decoration. Uh, yeah, and then we got two excavator grapplers here. Nice. And then this is the shop. Just a trailer. Kind of like it. And the lot is pretty small, but like you, it only gets one row, but you can move it up. You got this whole parking lot to kind of move around with. And here's the church. Pretty nice church. Get together place. Okay, it's a get together place. And we have a little roundabout where traffic goes around. And I added two sheds. And in these sheds, we got some uh, forestry uh, containers, shipping containers. So yeah, we can load logs into here. Uh, nine meter logs. It has to be nine meter logs. Uh, you can do 6, 9, and 12, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we got the 9 meter ones because good, me good medium. And yeah, uh, so we do have a trailer for this as well. It's all the way at the sawmill area where we got all our other stuff. So yeah, we got 5 in this shed. Oh, sorry, bud. And then I think we got 4 in this shed. Yeah, four. And then we got our 
forklift right there, the CF210. And it's perfect for shipping containers. It's uh, actually really smooth and nice. It's kind of better than the Platinum Expansion Mana 2 one. But yeah, that's that. So basically, we'll once we run out of um, shipping container, or once we fill up our shipping sh containers that we have on our trucks right now at the moment, uh, we'll buy some more here, and that they're in objects. And yeah, they get deleted, I think, after you kind of sell it like that. I, I think that's how it works, but we'll uh, have to see about that. But yeah, um, and you can open the doors uh, manually too, like with your hands, as you can see there. So that is also a pretty cool feature. And you have to make sure that you load, like this is the back, right? So you need to make sure that this is at the back, because there's only one back side. This is the front, that's the back. So yeah. But yeah, pretty cool. I can't wait to use them, actually. So that is that. Uh, we did add some hedges to these trailer yards here. <laughs> So we can do some mowing contracts for the trailer park. We got four of them, I think. So yeah, that's that's gonna be fun too. So yeah, decent. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, to the right of it, or to the left of the trailers, I guess, we have the pig pen, the modern pig pen. Yeah, buddy. This FS19 mod. I like this one, really nice big pen. So yeah, that's uh, that. Oh yeah, we put some do not enter signs too. Number one, and then you turn right here, so I know where I'm going. <laughs> and then this is kind of the main farm area here. Oh yeah, we do have a Sunnyville Trailer Park sign right there as well. I love that sign. Yeah, do not enter sign. Uh, this truck I couldn't get rid of. This really poorly rendered one. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, over here we got the horse paddock. And again, a trailer that's kind of sunken into the soil there. Didn't add. But added the ranch shed here. And we got a liquid deposit trailer, a grain trailer, and a little trailed uh, what the hell do you call this a light just uh, this spotlight yeah there it is so, yeah and then we got the two Kubotas the big one and the small one so that's that we got a trailer park here a mobile home it's all shut up to crap <laughs> we got our mountain bike here I actually didn't add this firewood stack here that and I couldn't get rid of it so yeah it's that um, but I did add this picnic bench and a little grill that we can throw some uh, weenies on so that's that uh, what did I need to buy okay no good good okay. Chicken coop here. Uh, this will hold 500 chickens. Uh, we got a fuel storage, and we also have the TLX uh, 2020 there, and we got the buggy AT100 with the Mukow decals. Uh, we got liquid storage there, water hydrant there. And this is our cow shed right here. This is the confining cows, I think it's called, the mod. But it has a built-in uh, maneuver pit, which I like, and a nice long feeding trough area, which is nice. So yeah, really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So that is that. Uh, animal dealers right here. And two of the four fields are right here as well. I'm probably going to combine these ones. Uh, we got a gooseneck here. We 
We got a little uh, grain silo there. And we got another storage shed here with the 2020 uh, tippet and lick it. And then we got the Kubota skid steer with the bucket and the uh, pallet fork. Oh yeah, we got a little water well here thing too, but I didn't add that. And I couldn't get rid of it. So yeah, and I like how you uh, transport the cows. I'm definitely going to transport the cows because I haven't been doing that lately, but this time around we're definitely going to go for more re realism kind of look for this map. Yeah. So yeah, that is that. Um, come across the way here we do have some more storage uh, this really badly rendered barn I couldn't get rid of but we do have a multi fruit silo there uh, seed lime and fertilizer uh, fill point there liquid fertilizer herbicide fill point and multi fruit fill trigger there and all this stuff I didn't add as well, but it actually looks alright. Wish it was rendered better, especially the barn. Oh God, that's like cloudy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is uh, everything there. I'm just gonna jump here. So now we are at the, the sawmill area, and. Uh, do have a Volvo truck with the Schwartz and Mueller low loader. Uh, do, do, do. Right, so yeah, the trigger is right here. Uh, but it looks like there's another one over here. This is a massive dump in here. I, I'm, th I'm hoping it's there. Cause this looks like the wood chip area. Yeah, that's. If we can even get that. And then we got a drying station. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, just a lot of freaking. Boards and stuff. Yeah, really nice. Couple triggers here again. No idea. We shall figure this out as we go. <laughs> but very nice buildings. It looks nice. I like it. Nice and rusty and old fashioned looking. But yeah, that's that. Uh, we have. We also added some sheds. Uh, we got this one here with our. Massey fertilizer spreader. Uh, we got our weeder, and we got the hardy uh, sprayer here, 24 meter one. So yeah, this is what the uh, containers look like on the truck. You do have the tension belt them; they do not connect. Uh, so yeah, that's the only downside with it. Uh, you actually do connect them with these little corners spots right here, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's just tension belt. So yeah, make sure you get it straight. <laughs> it's kind of tricky and they like to slide. But yeah, uh, so this will auto load um, logs, apparently. We'll see. Yeah, really nice. I like the animation sounds. But yeah, very nice. I like the. I like the truck, it looks nice though. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we also have the tandem 20 ton, whatever, 18 ton thing, whatever the hell it's called, auger. Uh, we got the Gutler field roller. We got the uh, Agri King 1070. Uh, is it internet? No, it's just case. Yeah, yeah case. Uh, and then we have the Cavernlin Optima V Custom Multifruit, so this will plant basically everything, I think. Uh, 
we got the International Cultivator, or is it Case? Don't remember. It's either Case or International. This one I know is an International Disc Hero, and then this is an International uh, Plow. So yeah, 4 meter, 3 meter, and 4 meter, I think. So that is that. Very small fields require very small equipment, which is nice. So yeah, we also have a, uh, this is actually a TLX, or the, uh, Volvo with the X2, uh, attachment thing, and it has a extended flatbed on it, uh, and it's, we got a 6 meter, uh, container on it for the smaller logs, so yeah. Um, I don't think we'll use this very often, but I think with the, like, the, the stuff with like the big inclines and stuff like that and I don't really want to get like a yarder out I might opt for using this and just try and see if I can get a loader up there or a front loader or something but yeah that's that I might just use a freaking yarder uh, but anyways we got another multi fruit silo there 20 million liters uh, we got a vehicle workshop trigger there, another CF-210 uh, forklift here, uh, we'll go over here quick. Uh, we got a multi-fruit fill trigger, liquid fertilizer, fill point, and seeds, lime, and fertilizer. Fill triggers there, we got lime production. Uh, this is a... Uh, game stone crusher yeah so this is only for the map so yeah the map creators made this and I believe oh, the wrong freaking thing oh we don't own it So the stone crusher, material production, uh, rocks, what is that, diesel, just fuel, and water uh, will make coal, dirt, gravel, lime, and iron ore. So that's pretty cool. I'm, d I'm down for that. Um, so yeah, another place we can bring rocks to. That's, that's dope. All right, sweet. Cool. I like that. Alright, so that's that. Uh, I'm gonna save it quick, quick actually. So. Ooh, excuse me. Come on, today would be nice. Oh, wow. Alright, but anyways, uh, this is the butler shed. <laughs> that's what it's called, the butler shed. And yeah, it's actually really nice. And yeah, we got like a little header rack back here too, but you can kind of just put it up, and that's what I did. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that. We also got the TL, or, oh, I don't know why I keep saying TLX. The Volvo with the X3 uh, attachment thing on it, and we got a wood crusher. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I haven't never seen this before, but uh, yeah, apparently you can do this machine breaks trunks into wood chips so you could put a tree in there probably uh stones it looks like and beets oddly enough so that's pretty cool probably for sugar beet cut or whatever and it holds one million a hundred fifty thousand or something <laughs> ridiculous capacity which is why it needs the x3 so yeah and it's like an auger too so like very convenient so that's pretty dope I like that uh, and then we got the case international harvester 1480 this will hold 10,000 liters and I think the bitty floaties in the back <laughs> uh, and then we got the Volvo excavator with the grappling hook 
and a Komatsu Forestry Harvester, um, part of the Platinum Expansion Pack. So that is that. I can rain on the corners sometimes. I should. Uh, fuel storage there, uh, and then we got our corn header, case corn header, and the case 1030 Draper header. I believe that's a six meter, six point one or something. So yeah, that's that. We got another butler shed here. I like that butler shed. Uh, we got the Case IH Magnum uh, Special Edition with the front loader and a uh, log grabber. We also have an Unreal Wood Chipper for the stumps. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, and then we got the Case IH 185 the Puma. Is that Puma? Yeah, it's a Puma. And this is actually a very old tractor. This is one of the first uh, tractors to come out. And it's a very nice one. So yeah, that's that. Uh, then we got the 3120 Massey with Narrows. And we got a little International 1246. And this will still go, uh, still goes up to 150 horsepower. So it's still really useful. So that's that. And then we got Sadie the Cleaning Lady. So that is everything in there. Uh, beside the stone crusher, we got a loading wagon, the base game shoot maker one, the smallest one, I think. And then we got the all load shed, storage shed there. And we got the TLX 2020 with a storage, uh, like, van body on it, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. So that's that. I got the water hydrant. Uh, another liquid storage there, and then we got our sheep pasture here. So that is all the animals. Thanks. And then we got another storage shed here as well. So this will probably be for wool, and yeah, and the other one will be for production stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that is uh, pretty much everything to show you. Uh, uh, we also have a debris crusher up here in the mountains. So we just sell rocks if we just want to sell them. And we got our stone factory here as well. And we got the sell point for it over here. So yeah, that's that. And a sketchy road. And this is where we go up to the other stone quarry or the other rock quarry and this thing is freaking gonna be it's gonna be fun but it's gonna be hard to get to at first because not only can we not even get to it without removing these trees first <laughs> so yeah, we gotta get rid of these um, the second one we might be able to leave there might be enough clearing there to get under it but I don't want to risk it <laughs> um, yeah and then it comes up here and now you can choose to go down here which is what we're probably gonna do we're gonna have to do and it's sketchy as all hell <laughs> but like I mean once you get this going and once you get the good chunk out of the way you can probably access it a lot easier it's just getting that initial chunk out that's gonna probably require maybe even a telehandler <laughs> so yeah and then another road goes over here now I would like to get something to reach down there and like scoop it some up but nothing that I know uh, that can do this has more than like a couple thousand liter capacity so unless it's like a 10,000 liter capacity or something I don't want to do it and that's just gonna take so much time so yeah we'll just do it with a loader or telehandler or freaking something we'll figure it out skin steer even if we have to <laughs> um, but yeah 
That is the sketchy road. I like the road leading to it, though. It's very sketchy. Very sketchy. So, yeah. Look, like, look how steep it is coming down here. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so, yeah. That is uh, pretty much going to do it for today. Actually, there's a couple more things to show you. There's a sinkhole selling point. Okay. Did, did y'all just throw me in a frickin' sinkhole? Well, don't jump to that. <laughs> so that, that's cool. You just sell it to the sinkhole. <laughs> I wonder if they're down. They need, like, wheat. <laughs> this little pond here. Cool. Nifty. Alright. So that's that. I showed you all that. Uh, we got an old mine shaft. This is like free lime. 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 Oh, it's just rock, more stones. Huh. So you could buy stones here. That's pretty cool. That's dope. We'll have to make a little road here to it. Uh, there's somewhat of a little clear. Maybe take out one or two trees. Yeah, that's that. Here's the uh, nice river. It's a little lake leading to a river. So that is that. Uh, we got the old sawmill over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's got a windmill and everything. Sketchy, scary blade. <laughs> yeah, that's where the production stuff comes. How much is this? 100,000. That's not bad. So good for that, though. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, I'm. What? Why was there a trigger? Underneath. Oh, I'm not even gonna question it. I'm not even gonna question it. Uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, we got a barge selling point as well, too. This is really cool. That's what the thing is. The sell point is the barge sell point. <laughs> Hopefully we can just back up into this and it'll pop up. Hopefully. <laughs> We're just dumping it into the river. And oh look at that. We got another rock quarry here as well. Or no, this is This is wood chips. This is a freaking hell of a ton of wood chips. Damn! Yo, I did not think that was here. What is this? We got a cell point here. Oh, this is the barge cell station. Ah, okay. Barge. I wonder if it's gravel or dirt, maybe. We'll see. Figure it out. Wood chips. Barge selling station. If we can just sell this right here, we can make mad money right here. Just dumping all this in there. I hope this is actually wood chips, not just like decoration too. 
yeah, nice. That is uh, that, and that's everything to show you now. So yeah, uh, that's going to do it for today. So uh, tune in next episode where we will be at another new map. Yeah, buddy, another map, Torski. And it's not so much new, but they added kind of, an, uh, they did an update, and now it's kind of like a new map-ish. So yeah, that's going to be the plan stand for next episode. And then after that, we'll be back here for episode one, and then at the other new map for episode one. Uh, I might do two episodes, we'll see. I might go back and start over. We also got rid of Cow Farm. Um, I'm thinking of getting a nether map, maybe a nether forestry map. And yeah, we'll replace it with something else because it was just, it was too glitchy and it was too much megabytes for how glitchy it was. So yeah, uh, but that's going to do it for today though. So, uh, Till next time, OCD Fireman signing out. Peace out.